All right then guys, welcome back to a new video where we continue on after the installation since we're ready to set up our first Laravel project. Before we continue on, if you like my content and you want to see more, there's a red button down below which says subscribe. So if you want to see more, just click on it and otherwise enjoy the video. I want to set up a workspace where we store our projects and this can be different for anyone, but I will show you my way. As you can see in my terminal right now, we are in our root directory. So you can see the greater than sign. You have probably the name of your laptop right there. What I would like to do is to go inside our desktop, create a folder where we can store our projects. Well, I basically already said what we're going to do, but there are two ways how we could create a folder. You probably know one. Well, we could go to our desktop, create a new folder, name it workspace, and we're done. But I don't want to do that. So let's delete it. Let's go back to our terminal and I'll show you the way I like to work. So inside our terminal, let's write down clear first. And in here, let's write down ls, which means list computer files. So we will basically print out all the files that we have in the directory that we're in right now. Where I want to go is to my desktop. So into this folder. So let's write down cd desktop. Or you can write down cd d, hit tab. And you can see every word that starts with a d. So let's say desk, tab. And you can see the autofill went straight to desktop. Let's hit enter. As you can see right now, we're inside our desktop directory. By the way, cd stands for change directory. So what we've basically done is change the directory to our desktop. Inside our desktop, let's create a new folder using the CLI. And in order to do that, we need to write down mk there, space, followed by the name of your folder. In my case, it's workspace. Let's hit enter. Let's take a second to guess what MK there stands for. Well, make a directory. Now that we have our workspace, let's CD or well, let's LS first. So you can see that our desktop has a workspace inside of it. So let's say CD workspace. Let's go inside our workspace. And now that we have Laravel installed, we could use a new command that will create a fresh Laravel application for us. Let's say Laravel. I want a new project, so the keyword new, followed by the name of your project. So let's say first project. Let's hit enter. And you can already see the Laravel sign and our installation just begun. Pause the video again, because this might take a minute again, and come back when your video is done. All right then, my installation has been done and I hope yours is too. And as you can see, we're in our desktop workspace. So let's say ls again to see what just has been added. And as you can see, a folder called first project has been added to our workspace. So let's cd into our first project. And right here, let's write ls to see what's inside of it. And whoa, our first Laravel project has successfully been created. Now, before I finish up the video, there's a second way how we could create a project, and that is through Composer itself. There isn't any difference, but the command is. But I think it's good to show you what the other ways are as well. So, since we're in our first project directory, let's write down cd dot dot to go back one directory. So we're back in our workspace. And what I want to do is to remove the file, not by right clicking on the folder name, but by writing down rm, which stands for removes, space dash rf, which stands for recursive force, space, followed by the folder name. And in our case, it's first. So let's write down fur, tab, first project. Let's hit enter, that's ls. And now you can see that our first project does not exist in our workspace anymore. And let's double check that to open our workspace. And you can see that it's empty. All right, let's go back to our terminal. And what I want to do right now is to create it one more time through Composer. And to do that, we need to write down composer, create dash project, space, dash dash prefer, dash dist, space, Laravel, forward slash Laravel, space, followed by the project name. 
So everything that we have right now is fixed, followed by whatever we want. So let's say first project. Let's hit enter. And you can see that we're creating a new Laravel project, but will take a second. So once again, pause the video and I'll see you back in a second when you're done. All right then guys, my installation is done and I hope yours is too. So in our workspace, let's write down LS, let's CD into first project. Let's hit LS again. And you can see that the output is exactly the same. All right then, this was it for this video where we installed Composer and Laravel. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you back in the next one.